Alrighty, it's time for some more snake inspiration. Um, today, today's question is, what's my favorite snake myth? Um, we'll save other snake myths for for other days, but right now we're just talking about my favorite snake myth. But nothing better than sitting here with the dogs and um, treadmill that I'm not using right now, and uh, the fire going. Um, it's a 10 degree day outside, so it's pretty, pretty, pretty cold and. Oh, just wet and miserable outside, but I'm inside and I get to talk about my favorite snake myth, snake myth for snake inspiration. Um, my favorite snake myth. Man, there's so many good ones. Cotton mouse will chase you. Um, the hoop snake that rolls down hills, bites its tail and rolls down hills like a tired would. Um, the milk snake will actually milk a cow. That one could be amongst my top favorites. Um, that is just too it's just too incredible of a of a myth. Um you know that that man, I, I there's just so many snake myths like the the three step snake where you're bitten and you have three steps till you die. Um let's just go into the, the milk snake one because I'm I'm tired of thinking about other myths right now. We we can um if you have a particular myth, please email it to me or put it in the comments of this that, that you think might be a myth or it might be a fact about snakes, I'll gladly um, dispel it or confirm it. Uh, so just let me know and if you need some more help being snake inspired, let me know as well. Uh, this is this has been fun. I I was worried a little bit that it was just gonna be me talking, but some of the questions that have come up that I'm, I'm looking ahead to the future things for snake inspiration and man, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. I mean, there, there's no reason not to. So. I'm pretty pumped, but um, I can't talk. God, I'm, I'm stuttering here. I can't talk without a snake in my hand. And so here I am, leaning into the camera now. I have to be really careful with this snake. It just ate a big meal. And I'll get it out here, and we will talk about snake inspiration. Look at the size of this meal this snake just ate. Right there. It was just an adult mouse, but, you know, this is a Woma python. Um, Woma python from Australia, and I'm being very gentle and careful with it. Because I don't want to start disturbing this. And that's where, if I start disturbing that, the snake can regurgitate it. And that's where this whole myth of the guy being yanked out of the, the out of the anaconda by a cord just isn't true. Because all you have to do is start messing with the snake. And it's going to regurgitate um, <laughs> regurgitate the, the, its prey item. So they didn't need to pull him out. They just need to kick the thing. It didn't happen. Python did not eat that man. That's another myth. But let's talk about the milk snake. Milk snakes, you know, I don't have a milk snake because in Colorado, our local milk snake is protected um, by law. And so we don't, we, don't, we don't keep them in our collection here, but in our teaching collection. But we do, we can talk about them. And then a milk snake is a snake that has a huge um, geographic distribution. It occurs from um, almost into New England, in parts of New England, if you, western Massachusetts, um, all the way through the southeast all the way to the west coast different varieties or different subspecies of, of milk snake but for for most part the milk snake occurs that whole way and they're, they're they're completely redoing the genes on that or and then they're splitting it up into species and it's just it's a nightmare for me i just know them as milk snakes and let's talk about how did they get the name milk snake well milk snakes are a snake that are about this big they're colorful um, in parts of their range, they can be red, black, and yellow, be the coral snake mimic. In other parts of their range, they're just yellow and orange. I'm mean, not yellow and orange, gray and orange and black. Um, in Colorado, they're a white, yellow, a, a white, whitish yellow and red and black. Um, and they're, 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 they're pretty um, small snakes. They eat lizards, mice, mice, hmm, milk, mice, milk. Where do we keep our... Cows at night in the barn where to keep cow food, grains and, and, and grass in the barn. Where are mice eating the cow food? Where are the milk snakes eating the mice? See where I'm going? So that's how they get their nickname or their, their common name of milk snake is that they are found, they were found in barns. And so people just automatically assumed that they were milking the cows. They were always kind of found with the cows. Well, it's because mice and rodents, other small rodents are found in, in barns and that's where the snakes are. So that's the myth on the name milk snake, which I think is is comical. I will post some some photos of milk snakes at the end of this um, 
episode of snake inspiration so you guys can get snake inspired and what and at least know what a milk snake was like i said milk snakes in colorado are not um it's not legal to keep um the the native milk snakes so i, I didn't have one to show you but um i did show you this woma python with a giant meal which helped us with another myth on that that individual is going to pull be pulled out of a snake's mouth no it, it, we just if we squeeze this a lot the python would probably regurgitate its meal so i hope you all are snake inspired i certainly am this is a lot of fun i'm gonna keep it up keep going and send me your questions send me your um uh, myths send me anything you want to know about snakes and i'll try and answer it on snake inspiration and as i said if i don't know the answer i will find somebody who does and we will we'll get we'll, we'll ask the right question so we'll ask the right person the right question the, the question that you have so from me and the Womo Python, stay snake-spired, and we'll see you next time.